What's up guys? The thumbnail is correct. Cast King sent me a bunch of stuff to review. Now who am I to review anyone's gear? I'm just a casual fisherman, most likely like you, but I think they took note of the product review I did for the Cast King Blackhawk Telescopic Rod, a vid I posted about a month ago and received over a thousand views already. You might not be familiar with the name Cast King. They're D2C. What does that stand for? Direct to Consumer. They don't have a brick and mortar shop, you won't find any of their gear at West Marine, Big 5, Bass Pro, any of those usual outfitters. They sell online and online only, and by not having a brick and mortar outlet, they pass the savings on to you. Now what is direct to consumer? Well, if you're familiar with these guys, you know that you don't have to walk into a store to rent a movie anymore. You simply go online, order, and they send their product direct to you. You'll find all their gear on Amazon, eBay or casking.com. So I'm guessing you've seen your fair share of product unboxings online. Now let's do something different. Cue the jazzy hip hop music and I'll see you in the pool. Okay, that was fun, but you probably want to know if the products work or not. I don't have a kayak, I do have a raft, but I don't have time to go out in the ocean and tip the raft over and see if this kayak bag and this phone case are actually waterproof. But we do have a pool and I do have my test buddy and we do have what I think is the perfect medium to see if this and this can keep water out. Everyone's favorite. Goldfish. 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 So the plan is to put these goldfish in this 20 liter kayak bag and this phone case, throw them in that water, and come back in about one hour and see if the fish survive. If they don't, then we know that this kayak bag and this phone case aren't as waterproof as they're made out to be. You ready to put them in? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Uh oh. I need to pick them up. Put the bag and pour it in. Perfect. Thanks. Alright, to close the bag is really easy. You take the top and fold it down about two, four, or five times. You go down as far as you want. Maybe until you have the gear that's stored in the bag. But in this case, I want to keep the clear window open so we can see whether or not the goldfish make it. So once you roll it down as far as you want, turn, flip, and there you have it. Same principle applies for the phone case. You zip it up, fold it down until itself, pinch the uh, Velcro pieces together, and there you have what should be a watertight seal for your phone, your license, your driver's license, your wallet, whatever you want to keep waterproof. Alright, the plan is to take this and submerge it. And we can't hold our breath long enough to stay underwater for an hour. So we gotta find some way to submerge these two goods. It's going to go down. 
down. Well, it took a while, but the 20 liter kayak bag and the phone case and the lounging chair finally submerged. Oh, and if you're wondering about the long sleeve tee, I'm a medium, I'm 5'5", five five. I bought a medium. It fits really well. I haven't had a chance to test it out in the surf or on a boat. I can't vouch for its wicking performance and I can't vouch for its sunscreen protection, but so far so good. All right, the bag's submerged, the fishies are in. We'll see if they survive the next 60 minutes. Bye. All right, it's been about one hour since we put the two bags in the pool. Let's see if the fishies made it. You ready? Yeah. Okay, first up, the cast king phone case. Looks pretty dry to me. Open your hand. Open your hand. Ooh. Well, the fishies look 100% dry. I think they survived and we can safely say that the Cascine phone case survived a one hour dunk and kept these fishies 100% dry. Let's see if the kayak bag survived the challenge. Mm. 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 Alright, what do you see inside? Um, goldfish! Are they dry? Yeah! you see any water inside? Mm, no. Young clip, unroll. And unflap. Now let's see if our little fishy friends made it. Well, three fishies here. They all look dry to me. If the fishies made it, there's a good chance that any gear, including electronics, would stay pretty dry too. This is a pretty extreme test. This bag is intended to keep your gear dry while it's on your yak or on your raft, and if it does go over, it'll probably float at the surface. Oh, and incidentally, I've been wearing this casking long sleeve tee for about an hour. It fits really well, it's really comfortable, it's got a really nice fitted fit. And I'm sure it'll do a good job of keeping me dry and sun protecting the shore. I won't consider this review the full review, but maybe I'll review it in a future vid. But I am pretty impressed with the performance of the Casking 20 liter kayak yak bag and their phone case. So thanks again to Casking for considering me for their product reviews, and I'll see you guys on the shore.